Okay, hi guys. Um, so for today, what I'm gonna kind of do is I want to talk about um, the refugee population and immigration population that we see here in Nebraska and how that is affecting education. And so um, first, I'm kind of gonna kind of walk you through a little background and why this is important to me as an individual, and then. Um, I'm going to talk about Mary Pfeiffer's um, book, The Middle of Everywhere, that talks about refugees' populations within Lincoln. And um, we're just gonna kinda go through some reasons why this should be incorporated into Nebraska curriculum and the importance of being educated around refugees and why their experiences are going to be different from um, our own. And so, while I'm talking to you guys, I'm just gonna, we're just kind of having a chat, but um, I'm going to be just drawing out some of the ideas that I have and then I'll give those to you at the end. Um, so, a little background on me. Um, I am in my fourth year here at UNL and um, I moved here in 2021 when I actually decided to go to UNL on a whim um and which is very unlike me and i'm definitely a planner and so originally i was supposed to go study neuroscience somewhere else um but then kind of decided like i don't really want to study neuroscience so then i was like well i don't know what i'm gonna do but i don't want to go to the school where i'm supposed to study neuroscience so i'll come here but then covid happened and then I didn't get to come here until after my first year and da 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 right? So even though I had decided to come to UNL, I still didn't know what I wanted to do. Um, so I was just kind of studying. And I, as I was here, I realized that I really enjoyed um, having like this community around education. And I had a lot of ideas of like what I thought education should look like. So to give a little more context, I was the valedictorian 4.0 student who was cheer captain and president of the class, president of the school, president of honor society, all the things, right? Like your model student. But the thing is, um, absolutely hated school. And so, and I hated school in a system that actually worked for me. And so, I've had a lot of ideas around education and I didn't really realize that until I came here. Um, and I came to Nebraska with the thought process that I would never stay here. Like I didn't, I don't want to live here long term. Um, and then until that is, I decided to become a teacher. And so I decided to become a teacher and I started working in Lincoln Public Schools and I was like, wow, this is actually really um, incredible because we have such a large refugee population here. Um, we're considered like the refugee hub of America, basically. Um, but so what that means is that it has a really big impact on our school systems. And so we have over 35 plus languages represented in Lincoln Public Schools. So with all of these bilingual and non-English speaking students, we have to have these programs implemented in order to support them. And I feel like LPS has done a very, very good job of doing this. And so flash forward to me deciding to be in education, I'm working in Lincoln Public Schools and I was like, okay, like I wish I wouldn't have come to Nebraska because I, don't plan on staying here so why am I getting certified to teach in Nebraska and that is until I actually started working in the schools and I was like I could see myself working here and I feel like Mary Pfeiffer's The Middle of Everywhere novel really like encapsulates the reason that I would stay and that is to work with these um, students who come from just absolutely different backgrounds from myself and learning from their experiences and how can I stretch myself as an educator to meet their needs that I never would have like needed. Like that's the kind of education I want to be creating. And so 
I was like, I don't know anything about being an immigrant or being a refugee in our country, right? But I do know how to be an American citizen and I know what that, like, what that means. And so something that Mary Pfeiffer really talks about in her, um, in her novel is she talks about being a cultural broker. And what that means is that you teach these um, refugees what it means to like assimilate to our culture. And that doesn't mean that we are in any way, shape or form negating their cultural experiences that they're bringing with them to America, but we're teaching them how to um, resettle. And so, we know that, according to um, Pat Leach's interview with Mary Pfeiffer, that um, Lincoln has actually historically been a very good community for refugees and resettlement. And so one, like her biggest perspective that she wants people to be informed is that Mary Pfeiffer says, quote, every refugee that comes here has experienced some form of trauma, end quote. And so I think that this is very important for educators because how are we going to do trauma-informed teaching, right? And so um, these children are coming from a place of like where they were living wasn't safe or something happened or they were a part of war or da da da. Like they have seen things we could never imagine. And so how do we bring them into a completely new world and then try to educate them, right? And so that's why trauma-based, like trauma-informed education is going to be so important. And that's something that I like, I was like, okay, I want to learn how to do that. And the great thing that that's, that is why I would recommend that this book like I'm pushing for this book to be put into um, the Nebraska teaching education like program. I want every teacher being certified in Nebraska to have to read this book. And the reason I say that is because right now we are being certified as ESL um, like teachers. And so ESL just stands for English as a second language. And that means we take all of these like linguistics and um, second language acquisition classes within our teacher program so that we are certified to actually work with students who English is their second language. And so I feel like this book would actually be such a good incorporation into those classes um, because I want every teacher that comes out of Nebraska to be able to work with students who um, don't speak English because that's such a large population that we have in the United States right now. And so especially with us being the refugee hub and like Lincoln Public Schools doing such a good job of supporting these students why are we not like putting an even larger focus on making sure that our teachers that we're accrediting within the state are certified and ready to then teach this population right and so the reason i think that this would be a good book to incorporate and i feel like i feel like this book is good for everyone to read right it teaches you um about being a good human and like holding space for people's stories and experiences that are different from your own. But why I want it from an educator's perspective is because it teaches you that um, students, like what students need from you as an educator, right? And so Pfeiffer, according to Hoffman's article um, written in response to Pfeiffer's book, Pfeiffer has suggested that our response, like America's response to refugees comes in threefold, right? And it's addressing the immediate and basic needs, addressing those long-term needs like counseling, um, liter literacy, education, and then the third thing is addressing the root cause of social injustice that actually brought them here. Like we can't ignore what brought them here. And so they have to have their needs met. They need to be fed in order to learn we know this with all our kids not even just refugee kids right educators really need to focus on the second one like how are we going to teach them the the education that they need to be successful like 
without education, education opens so many doors for students and you don't realize that until you don't have those skills that a lot of our students are getting at a really early age. And so it's so important for students to understand that. And so to kind of circle back and come full circle here, if I were to stay in Nebraska, which the likelihood is so much more now, um, I belong at a school like Lincoln High, which is in the very like heart of Lincoln, right next to UNL's campus. And the reason I would say that I belong there is because it's actually a school where um, they have this ELL program and they have a lot of refugees coming in here. And they, it's place, because it's in the heart of Lincoln, it's in, it's known to be surrounded by those poorer um, and less like lower income um, families and living areas. And so those are the students that we have coming into Lincoln High. But the thing is, it's seen as, and this is according to Hammond's um, article, which she wrote as a response. She is, she works in, for LPS's staff and amongst like the schools of Lincoln right the culture of Lincoln High is that it's known as the ghetto school um and so why why do I all want to be there I want to be there because those kids are not being seen the way that they're they should be seen um and I say that as in that's the language we use around a school is so telling and this is very similar to the schools we see the culture that we see around north star right like the ki kids in surrounding areas will make comments like oh that's the school that's most likely to be shot up okay if we're going to make that statement why then let's ask ourselves why right and so i think that learning these things now that pfeiffer is suggesting is so good not only from an educator's perspective but from just a human like humane um perspective of how do we interact as people in our in american society and how do we support those who um aren't like naturally born into it right and so like that's what my biggest focus is is that i want to be an educator who is supportive of my students and is able to like give them the supports that they need but just to do so naturally like it's not it's not I've done the work on the front end so that I don't have to do the work on the back end and so it's it's moments like these where how can I make how can I make this connection you know um how can I be that for my students but so definitely give it a read um it's such a great book and I think that it's good for all of us to be continue learning. Thanks guys.